Miami-Dade County School Board passing an item that sparked a big flag debate in the classroom. They finally reached an important compromise, and Local 10's Terrell Forney joins us live to explain. Terrell. And even before this vote happened, it turned into quite the lengthy debate here at the Miami-Dade School Board headquarters. Some people took issue with how this measure was worded. The American flag should fly high at schools across Miami-Dade as per district policy. But one of the school board's newest members believes there should be little competition. It's about our American flag and the only flag that should be flown in our classrooms unless it is related to the curriculum that is being taught to our students. Roberto Alonso sponsored a policy amendment that aimed to, quote, restrict the display of flags that would promote a political issue. Some people feared vagueness of the wording could open the door to setbacks. I was afraid that LGBTQ flags would be prevented from being flown in the classroom. Opponents not just concerned over pride flags, but whether displaying Black Lives Matter flags in classrooms or even flags from native countries would be allowed. The great and wonderful beauty of this country is its rich <coughs> cultural heritage. There is serious concern about what will be labeled political flags. I really fear that this term is so vague that it's going to lead to censorship in our classrooms, which is entirely un-American. Hours of debate led to a tweak in wording that would allow all federally protected flags in classes. All in favor? Aye. 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 This is not about dividing. This is about unifying. So in the end, it was a unanimous vote, which means that opponents who showed up here for this meeting, they walked away feeling the outcome was fair. But this measure will return to committee on February 8th, so the parties involved can see how things are going. Reporting live from Miami tonight, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.